What up? This is Shan and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? What's up, y'all? This is Cozy Womb Podcast. My name is Shan and this is episode 82. I'm baby sharked out, honey. Like, how many times are you gonna play this song? And there's so many different versions, and both of my kids love it. Ari mostly. Anytime we're playing music, that's what she wants to hear. But of course, I made a point to put it on my phone. Every time you're in the car, she wants to listen to it. A baby shark, do 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 do. But I'm gonna talk about you know music and the kind of music my girls like and kind of why and why we have to pay attention to what they listen to and what they see because some of the music they like I let them listen to it but visually we not watching that video all right so that's what we're getting into today say what So first of all, let's just say this. I love music. I don't go a day without listening to music or listening listening to music in my house or listening to it as I work at the office. Like I have to listen to music. So my kids naturally like music. And even when I was pregnant with them, I would play the music in my stomach. So it's fitting so the things the little like songs that my kids are into baby shark of course um the video is really cute they watch it on youtube on the tv um and they just like the songs they like the rhyming they like the characters they like the parts that come up that'll change a little bit they like the words that they use and that's what keeps your kids' attention. So I'm just going to go over like a few songs that they're into also. There's a Gummy Bear song. Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears. That song. They love it. Uh, what else? The Chicken Song. It's like a chicken song that does like an old school rhyme to it and has a lot of different colors in the vid- uh, video. Willow. I whip my hair back and forth. That's Anya's song. They like the French Montana and Sway Lee song, Unforgettable. Anya loves CC's Level Up. I do not want her watching the visual though because they do some dances in there I don't need her doing <laughs> at her age. Um, Chris Brown, Pills and Automobile. Uh, Ari loves that song. Anya loves the song. I like the song, but. I don't want them watching the video because there's a lot of half naked girls in it. But it's cute. Uh, what else? Drake's uh, Kiki, Do You Love Me? I don't let them watch the visual. I let them watch um, other kids dance to it. Uh, Rolex, Rolly, Rolly, Rolly with a Deborah That song, they love the video. It's um, created by kids. And it's a whole bunch of kids dancing in the video from Atlanta. So I let them watch it. Then there's a song that's really annoying if you listen to it on repeat called What Does the Fuck Say? <laughs> what Does the Fuck Say? And it's a whole bunch of different people with painted faces dressed up as different animals in the video. But the video kind of like comes off as like a um, actual like R&B song. And the whole point behind the video is them assuming what sound a fox makes by making all these different sounds in it for the, um, you know, the chords of the song, which is very interesting. Then I introduced my girls to Bad Girls by M.I.A. Love the song. Love her. Love the video. I let them listen to a lot of Santa Gold, uh, not her recent album, but her older albums. We listen to a lot of that. 
um outcast hey y'all they love that video anya loves the ting tings um that's not my name she loves that song she loves that video so we listen to that a lot and wind it up by gwen stefani they love that song and holla back girl yeah they like that uh you know kids like songs or good rhymes and good characters and good sounds and sometimes if you can if you're lucky look on youtube and try to find like songs where they rhyme about math songs where they rhyme about money there's a money song on there uh <laughs> that's very funny that you know that's how i was uh teaching anya about her coins through that song that's on youtube you could find it it's a uh, it sounds like a old school trap beat behind how they talk about the coins and the money so that helps and how my youngest brother i mean he's older than me but how he learned math my mom i remember she bought the this cassette te- um like t- step type of package where it was like different math on the cassette tapes and they rhymed and that's how he learned like his multiplication and his addition and his sub- subtract subtraction from that uh can't even talk cassette tape so i mean songs work if 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 your kid loves music try to teach them through music try to play music in the car try to download like the right things um i try to monitor what i listen to while they're in the car um so i'll skip over a lot of songs because some things they just don't need to know but I let them, you know, watch the baby shark. I let them watch the, them to see the, uh, uh, them to see the, uh, I, they like that video. <laughs> um, and they just go ham in the house, like Saturday mornings. That's all we've been listening to and watching in here is like all these different videos and listening to music, um. The chicken song is very funny. I went my hair back and forth. It's super cute. It has Anya wanting braids, but I don't have time to be putting braids in her hair because her hair is her hair gets like super um, curly and knotted really fast because the longer something stays in her hair, really small, the harder it is to like comb it out. But I don't know. Maybe I think about it. But she loves, you know, dancing. Both of them, both of them love music. And if your kid can easily learn through music, I think it's up to us as parents to figure that out, find it, and find a way to teach them through music. And most people say if your child is musically inclined and the younger they can pick up, you know, learning about an instrument or learning how to play something, the better. And most kids who are really good in music are really good in math. So that's like a two-for-one special right there. Um, I know, I like, I always love music, but I wasn't really into like playing instruments as a kid. And my mom wasn't really pushy as to me, you know, playing an instrument. So I really didn't get that. But let's say if one of my girls want to play an instrument, I'm for it. I mean, shoot. One thing that happens when you have kids, if you didn't learn it and you got to teach it to your kid, you got to learn it. Because it's just easier to learn when you got to teach somebody else that don't know anything. Um, I'm finding it out right now. Like I'm catching up on little tricks on how to learn things quicker through teaching Anya so I don't know just let them explore music be mindful of what they see what they say in music and if they have questions about something that they hear or say explain it to them do not lie to them about what it is because they're gonna end up asking somebody else and you don't know who that somebody else may be that may tell them something incorrect or truth uh so uh that's my thoughts on uh the music and the dancing and you know kids rhymes and having good characters and songs and understanding what 
songs mean and what they represent too. Don't just have your kid out here singing any and everything. Just understand what they're talking about in the song. You know, what type of vibe they're giving off. Because you just don't want your kid singing something outlandish in public or to their teachers or saying around other kids because they heard it on the radio. They heard it in your car. They saw it on YouTube. So just be mindful of that. And uh, if your kid is into Baby Shark, then shoot. Your kid just going to be into Baby Shark until another kid song comes about as a phenomenon. But y'all be good out there. This is Cozy Woman. Thank you for listening. Y'all have a great weekend. Good night, good night, good night, good night. <laughs>